What's going on, everybody? Uh, it's been a long time coming, but we finally have some news about the Eurozone Big Bang. What's going on, everybody? My name is Ted Talk Money, and you guys have maybe heard that there was supposed to be a Big Bang in the Eurozone and the Euro market this year around November. Uh, it looks like it's been delayed till Q1 of 2023. So guys, do not worry. There is still plenty of opportunity out there to really make some profits, to really make some money in the meantime. So in this video, I'm going to be giving you guys a news updates about what's going on and really being able to take advantage of the situation, guys. So stay tuned. Uh, right here, as you guys could see, our market with our Bitcoin right here is at 19.2. Of course, we're in the bit of a... Uh, decreased right now in the bit of a uh, crypto bear market some people are calling it a crypto winter your ethereum's right here at 1301 last uh i want to actually show you guys this so usually when we do our updates i show you guys who's actually gained in the past 24 hours and i want to go over these just so you guys can know what's actually happening so for example you know you have this terra uh, stable coin here you have chain and stacks uh going through this though i want to actually give some attention here and that's what I'm going to start doing just so you guys can have it. We have the chosen five, our bonus tracks for, for uh, ISO cryptos. But every time that there's a winner out there, I want you guys to see like a, a brief coin review uh, just so you guys to have some uh, diversification out there, of course. So after we do our price check, I want to do a small little review on chain. XRP is right here at 46 cents. Moving forward right here, we have our Stellars right here at 11 cents. Algrand's right here at 31 cents. What I'm doing right now is going over our chosen five, the Interledger Protocol family, ISO compliant cryptocurrencies. Your quants right here at 167. All of those profits are really melted down, seems like. Uh, moving forward here, that Hedera's right here at 5.8. Of course, we're in a bit of a bear market. Everything is dipping, but during these times, these are sales prices, my people. Uh, your IOTA's right here at 24 cents. Still, we're seeing dips and dips, guys, but it's all good and well. And then right here, we have our XDC. 3-1, okay? Throughout this dip, you guys can see it. It's not dipping too far down. It's maintaining that 3-1. So it's really good. I personally believe it's because the ecosystem is continuing to grow. Please check out our most recent update about the XDC network. Now, dig this, guys. Chain, okay? Chain. It seems to be up on the day. I'll give you a real bit of a background. The bridge between your business and Web3. If you guys want to see it right here, it's kind of like a blockchain as a service, but at the same time, they're also offering NFTs. So their latest partnership was with Tiffany, the latest high profile client to, to sell out their entire NFT co collection in minutes while providing the CryptoPunks community with real world utility. By utilizing chain NFTs, they provided their client with end to end support for initial uh, concept creation. So putting it out there, this is who is pumping right now. It looks like enterprises can partner with uh, industry leaders to pretty much bring blockchain to the Web3. So it's a blockchain as a service. Interesting stuff. Now to get right back into our ISO compliant, uh, you know, communities here you're having it right here from shimmer they put it we could have taken a proven blockchain design and make it slightly less crappy or change it from ground up this is how we broke the paradigm try it yourself so guys this is shimmer shimmer net right now is the uh smart contract layer for the iota iota um technology basically so you guys could see here on other networks you have a blockchain kind of but this is kind of a, a visual representation of how the shimmer network works so zero fees zero bridges zero limitations and of course you can mint, you can tokenize just about everything. So the Shimmer Network is up and it's doing big things, guys. Look into it for yourself. All right. Now, I'll actually push this guy up here, okay? So next up, we're going to be looking at GBEX, guys. Of course, big shout out to Michael Crypto. Go ahead and give him a follow for, uh, you know, being out there and doing what he does, really putting out some good information to the XDC network. But he was letting people know GBEX is on the rise, steady rising. And he ain't lying. As you guys can see here, GBEX continues to rise. It actually looks like it just ate a zero. So it has about six zeros left, guys. So it looks like if you want to get yourself a billion GBEX right now, it's looking like it's about 100 bucks. And they're going to continue to burn and burn. If you guys don't know this, part of the XDC ecosystem this is the crypto exchange, crypto Dex, crypto um, bank, even a, a bank that they want to be all powered on the XDC network. So it's really good. As you guys can see, there's 609,000 people looking on this watch list and it is rising. It is a good thing to see uh, that I'm sure a lot of GBEX holders are feeling this. You guys could see that really good stuff. Next right here, I want you guys to listen up. So when it comes down to uh, Senator Loomis and Senator Gorilla Brand, uh, we see them, you know, saying the things that they want to say. I want you guys to take in this two headed he this two headed heathen of a political monster. Listen up. Utilizing what's in place now. Uh, most cryptocurrencies are uh, commodities, uh, which would put them within the jurisdiction of the uh, Commodity Futures Trading Commission. 
for trading, spot markets, uh, and futures markets. So you would agree with Chairman Gensler that most of them probably are securities, and I take it your legislation isn't meant to change that. No, it's just that people didn't read it properly. We just said that there are commodities, and Bitcoin is one of them, and Ether and a few others probably are as well, but that there's a test. It's called the Howey test. It's worked, and we updated it to actually work in the framework of digital assets. And Bruh. if there's 15,000 cryptocurrencies, that means 14,900 and something are securities. So that's a lot of work for the SEC to do. Uh, most cryptocurrencies are uh, commodities, no, it's just that people didn't read it properly. We just said Bruh. that there are commodities, and Bitcoin is one of them, and Ether and a few others probably are as well, but that there's a test. It's called the Howey test. It's worked, and we updated it to actually work in the framework of digital assets. And if there's 15,000 cryptocurrencies, that means 14,900 and something are securities. So that's a lot of work for the SEC to do. Mm, mm, mm. Yep, so you guys can see right there, lying to our faces, y'all. We kind of uncovered it. You actually had Andreessen Horowitz was a major contributor to Senator Loomis's um, campaign. Andreessen Horowitz is a huge Ethereum investor. So right here, guys, for Algorand holders, wanted to let you guys know FIFA Plus, of course. Uh, right now, if you guys don't know, FIFA... Algorand is the actual blockchain partner for FIFA. So they opened a NFT platform or a marketplace that's completely powered for Algorand. So all FIFA fans, all you know, football fans, soccer fans, you guys can have all of those memorable moments. Right now, uh, you're not exactly able to transfer those collectibles to your own Algorand account, but you could still view them in your Para wallet. So uh, Para wallet is just like, I mean, really like the best Algorand wallet. It's made by the community, almost owned by the community, secure, open source and everything. You could trust this wallet with your Algorand. But they're saying here, when you go to the collectibles page, you can actually view all of those NFTs that you bought from FIFA Plus Collect. So if you're interested in getting involved, if you're a soccer fan or anything like that, check out FIFA Plus uh, Collect. It's pretty cool for Algorand. All right. Now, getting into our main piece here, my people. So uh, we covered it yesterday. It was coming out from Payment Infrastructure News. They were saying it was a rumor uh, that they were going to be delaying it. So they were saying here they have confirmation now from the ECB uh, about the T2 ISO go live will be uh, postponed to March 20th, 2023. Additional four month period ensures greater system stability and user readiness as well as smooth transition. Uh and they're also saying here is also the confirmation of our, inf our information on the red status of some countries. While most users have been ready for the scheduled go live date, others would not have would not have fully completed their testing. So here's the thing, guys. Um, we were covering it, of course, uh, from the jump. I don't want you guys to get scared, mad, fuddish or whatever. Of course, you're going to do what you want to do. But I want to say this to you guys from the beginning. We have not been presenting something to you that this is some get rich a quick scheme for November that all of a sudden your ISO cryptos are just going to be through the moon on November. And that's it. We've told you guys Lift Capital is not here just for November. Some quick flash in the pan. OK, this is something that you guys need to take advantage of. OK, so let you guys know a little bit more about what's happening here. It's really official. The ECB is saying it. Now, th looking through everything that we've told you guys when it comes down to, you know, central bank digital currencies and how this ISO adoption is going to happen. A lot of central banks all around, they're dragging their feet to this actual transition. The European Union, of course, is made up of many member states. OK, it's the EU, but the European Central Bank themselves, they have to deal with all of these other countries within obviously within that union. So they're showing you guys right here, the general, the governing council is saying that they've decided to reschedule the launch of their real time gross settlement new system and its central liquidity management model T2. The go live has therefore been postponed by four months from November 21, November 21 to March 20th. Uh, the decision is followed by an assessment by the uh, ECB's market infrastructure board because they're saying that the decision is taking into account the important and systematic nature, uh, especially in view of the current geopolitical conditions and volatile financial markets. While most were ready for the go live date, others have not completed completely 
uh, fulfilled their testing. The consolidated platform brings together the RTGS system and the security settlement platform run by the Euro system, thus contributing to the further harmonization of European financial markets. Now, to really wrap all of this up before people get all emotional and everything like that, that's what it's all about. This ISO standard, anything ISO 20022, all of the financial messaging standard is harmonization of all payment systems. What does that have to do with crypto? Well, we're moving into DLT. Utility cryptos will secure that DLT. You get what I'm saying? There is such thing as ISO compliant cryptocurrency. Just look into it for yourself. You get what I'm saying? So now because the Eurozone has been delayed, you guys can still take advantage of these situations. Look at this. If they're talking about it's going to be delayed from March 23, look what's right around the corner. OK, in May of that same year, Fed now is going to be activated. Could it possibly be that the the ECB and the Federal Reserve are working together for a coordinated bang? You get what I mean? For things to come together. Now, next, I want to show you guys. This is actually coming from a German, a German banking uh, site. But I want you guys to see here, they're actually speaking about it. Bang. Target 2 migration is postponed to March 23. The Target 2 migration planned for the end of November has burst. Instead of November 21 is originally planned, the complete restructuring of payment and security processing in the Eurozone is now scheduled scheduled to take place in March 2023. So you see what I'm saying? They're completely restructuring their payment processing, completely restructuring the securities processing. Obviously, they have place for crypto assets within that new framework, within that new system, within that new processing, because DLT will have something to do with it. The technical difficulties with the new system uh, were seen in German banks fear target to chaos. You get what I'm saying? So they're saying already that German banks, they're si from this big bang, we've been excited about it, but these other banks, these European Eurozone banks, uh, we've been telling you guys, they've been dragging their feet to migrate, to make changes, mandatory changes. We've been telling you guys, you guys about it. Now, uh, Swift is supposed to help them with a, you know, the, the coexistence to kind of help those banks. But we'll see what's going to be coming out from Swift about this uh, delay. The Target 2 migration um, is one of the most complex IT projects in the history of the Eurozone. See, in essence, the changeover is taking place at the level of the central banks. In effect, however, primarily affects the more than 5,000 commercial banks in the Eurozone, and thus also 340 million citizens in Germany alone. 1,700 banks and saving banks are directly or indirectly linked to the system. You see what I'm saying? So a lot of a lot of changes would actually happen. That's why we call it a bang. Now, what I'm saying is to take advantage of it, guys. Obviously, as you guys could see right now, as a result of this information, you guys could see it. Bitcoin, or excuse me, uh, XRP, the new Bitcoin, is still still strong here. I'm, I'm showing you guys right now uh, on the hour chart. XRP is still maintaining it here around 45 cents, but still, man, looking good. Okay, looking good. Last but not least, I want to show you guys this. If your circle of friends isn't forcing you to level up, you are in the wrong circle. OK, you want to surround yourself with people that's going to make you better, build you. Iron sharpens iron, my friends. Iron sharpens iron. Don't worry about no delay. We are still going to get rich. OK, but look, I appreciate you guys being a part of this community. If you don't mind, please hit that like button, hit the subscribe and as well. Hit the bell so you don't miss out on any of our updates. But I'll holler at you later. Peace.